Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to talk to you about backing up your personal ServiceNow instance, or as we all know them, your personal developer instance. If you've been on the developer uh, website recently, you may have noticed this banner at the top where ServiceNow is letting us know that the backup and restore capability, which by the way, I have benefited from uh, when I took vacation, is no longer gonna be available after December 15th. Now, I'm not complaining about it. I am super, super grateful that I even have my own PDI. And I'll call your attention to this link that they provide. This is a blog article written by Earl Duque, where he goes through all of the steps that you might wanna follow for backing up your personal developer instance and the data inside of it. So he gives you three kinds of instructions using Studio, App Engine Studio, or update sets. And one of the things that I wanted to highlight in this video is the, oh, let me search here, is the ability to actually export data. So one of the things he says is uh, you can use this create application file in your list actions to back up the data to your code repository or your update sets. And I ha actually hadn't heard about that before and I went and played with it and it was pretty cool. So, my, but when I went and looked at the documentation, this is really meant to provide like some sample data, some demo data with your application. So when someone installs an application that you made, it's not empty or they don't have any sample data to actually look at. So let's head over to my PDI. I've got my Tokyo features. This is actually the release note pages. And what he's talking about is if you right click and do create application files, you're gonna get this prompt to add to the Tokyo features application from this table. And you're gonna load the data when it's a new install and upgrade or new install with demo data or just a new install period. And what this is gonna do, if you look down below, it I have 210 release note pages. It's gonna create an XML, XML file for each release note page with all the data that's inside of it. And it's gonna write that back to my update set or my code repository, depending on what I have configured. And they're in a file called like metadata. So ServiceNow actually refers to this as metadata. Now I wanna show you what Justin actually does. So I'm investing a lot of time and energy into my PDI in learning things for you all and discovering things. And I wanna make sure that I export everything that I need or back up everything that I need in case something happens or in case I break something, that's happened before. So what I chose to do before I knew about this create application file is export sets. So if we go to export sets in my instance, I'll just go over here and we'll just click on all the export sets. We should see that Justin has uh, 26 up to, or export sets exporting to my mid server. My mid server is actually loaded on the computer that I'm recording on now. And you can see that it's kind of obvious, right? I've got some tables like the idea table, the incident table, knowledge articles, knowledge bases, project tasks, projects. Um, and then my application, sitemap and sitemap parps and store app version history. I'll just scroll to the right here and you can see store applications, stories, Tokyo features, right? This is my data that I'm using to kind of generate this content that you're seeing on this channel. And these get exported regularly, like once a day, once a week, uh, a couple times a week, just depending on how often I thought I was going to be updating them. But then something you might not have thought about is look at else I'm exporting. I've got my data sources, which are used by the export sets. I got my export set definitions and my targets. Um, this is actually the stuff that creates the export sets, right? So I'm exporting those so I don't have to recreate them if I were ever to release and reset my PDI. Um, here I have some transform maps and the transform map fields that I'm uh, exporting. So I've got a couple of imports as part of my applications. And so I want to make sure I back up those transform maps that I created for those applications. So you get an idea there of kind of what you can do and store those. Now, let me show you what this looks like in my PDI. So let's just go to here. I'm going to clear the screen. Uh, we'll clear that. And I'm going to go into the folder on the mid server. So we'll just hop over to... SNC mid server, I think it's agent and then export, right? And then there's my backups. And so it's writing an XML file with the date and time appended to the end so that I know exactly when that was backed up. And what I'm doing personally is copying these from my mid server to the server where my mid server is, not server, to the PC where my mid server is hosted and then moving those to a external hard drive so that in the event that I break something or I reset my PDI, 
that I'm able to restore all my data. And that's it. I just wanted to show you um, an alternative to the create application file. There's some limitations there on the create application file on how much data you should actually be exporting. If you go look at the documentation, you can see here, they actually call out if you're trying to move data between instances, um, you should probably look into something else if there's a large number of records. I'm anticipating, you know, hundreds of records and what I'm doing, I'm not including just a few samples. So that's an alternative. Export sets are a great feature out of the box from ServiceNow. It's a platform feature. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in backing up their personal ServiceNow instance or their personal development instance. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.